Canadian Tea Season 4, Episode 1. Oh, we um, back. Y'all back. Yeah, Y'all back. Um, so, yes. You're do you finally do on little... the show. Yes. Boat time. Yes. Uh, Before so... we even start, like, I just want to say, like, it needs to be said. I'm sorry. These are my homies. These are my girls. I am so happy to be doing this. Like, this is going to be so much fun. God bless both of you so much. I love you both so so much i love you we love and, like, you too. we love beautiful. you like, and like thank you for wearing the merch and like looking all sexy of course you know, like i love you guys and like yeah it's just a kiki you know kiki between friends like this is all it is this is like a safe space so like expect Always. a lot of like like a different side of like me because like a lot of the interviews i've been doing lately are like very like i feel very stiff but like because i know y'all is just like hey yeah. of course okay, yeah. i'm gonna stop talking a lot okay <laughs> no no do we i wanted to um we wanted to have you do a little intro for those uh who don't know of you and your music as of yet so all right please. all right well hello everyone to those who don't know my name is fernie i am a 23 year old non-binary artist from montreal um i've recently come out with a few songs some of them being all my wishes which came out in july and I've recently come out with a song called New Beginnings. And uh, all this has led up to an album called Aurora that I'll be releasing on September 24th. And you can find them on all platforms, on Spotify, Apple Music, and you can find me on Instagram and Twitter as well, under Fernie Official. And yeah, it's basically it. And uh, go 504, 504 representing. Yes. Uh, Honestly, <laughs> I feel like we're just seeing so much more exposure, which is lovely. Like Oshiaga, mm, like really like representing our city, which is great. It's amazing. Um, I love what they're doing, especially this year with like the local scene, especially. Yeah, very. Like, have y'all ever like lived through that? Have you ever seen like that ever happen in the Oshiaga history where it's just like local, like strictly like? No, no, they always I, like exactly. throw those big names out there. I've only seen like mm -hmm. a couple of like artists just like doing their sets. I've never seen mm -hmm. like a fully exclusive like Montreal slash Canadian like lineup. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um right. so it's, like it's, under the circumstances, like it's like it's like, yeah, okay, because like it's because of COVID, but like at the same time, like at least it's still happening. Like it's a thing that like could be considered for like following years as well like why don't you line up more of like the local scene rather than just like have like american artists exactly no offense, exactly you know? like, no no no. i get I'm, that like, and invade all the, like a lot of people wouldn't know of these artists mm -hmm. you know unless they were like unless it was like this situation mm -hmm. so Very. it's like kind of a blessing but yeah um so you have you mentioned your new album aurora <laughs> um coming out and how do you think um, the concept of your album kind of came to fruition from like internally to like the end result? Mm -hmm. So honestly, the it really wasn't an idea at first. It, it like started off as just like making music. And uh, the original, original, original idea ever was an EP. And um, I had worked with Moses Jones and we had done a few tracks, but then over time I had started meeting other people and started working on different tracks that um, I just decided to compile them. And it's basically just a compilation of like the last three years, all like the songs that I've written, all the emotions I felt, all the experiences I had. And it literally translates itself into like the songs and the album entirely because it's just like every song has a different aspect a different story to tell but with all these stories being told it all kind of comes together as well and it's just like a very human let's say human album very just like out there very transparent and very vulnerable love that like, yeah. love yeah you know? <laughs> um, it's important to be like transparent you know so for sure Mary, um you know. just you know obviously seeing like you mentioned it was um at like initially an ep mm -hmm. um and it's just so amazing to see growth like it's like the editing process like just really like honing mm -hmm. it down to like 
an an album which is like it's exactly. so it's awesome um and patience it's patience too like patience is the virtue oh very yeah like, we saw you like, go from yeah. a small yeah we saw you go from a small project to this big project exactly like you've all sure. seen it i remember when we had our listening party for the ep and yeah, it was just like yeah, that's yeah. It. and like now it's actually bigger but it was, so it was still like, yeah. so like i even like different layers for sure <laughs> Like you love it, uh, like you kind of have, I feel like in general, just like art as a as a whole or anything really, mm. it's just like you love it from the start, but it's like, I don't know, as, as you, like the longer you work on it, the better it mm. can be, you know? So like you have, artists yeah. that take, you have artists that take years to make, like they don't just have like one album a year, they take like several years to make it, but it's like, damn, like you could tell the But time. it's worth it, it's quality. So, yeah, it's quality exactly. Exactly. exactly, then like doing it yeah. fast and it not being yeah, the best like, quality. I mean, like you, to each their own, I, I personally do agree with everything that y'all just said. Like, I feel like I really resonate with like the people who do take their time, like Frank Ocean, who like takes like his sweet ass time and it's still relevant to like pop culture and everything. Like he's still around. Like, did y'all see the Met Gala? Yesterday? Oh my God, Man's, yes. Like, shut up. Man showed up. And his, like, yeah, he's so relevant, like, like iconic. Oh, cool, I don't even. Like, yeah, do you like, know like what up, with like, the baby like was, was like, like a I baby didn't, Shrek? Yeah, like I didn't was understand. I, there was like a did that I just didn't get. Yeah. Um, some of the fits were like pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, but like yeah, like some of them I just didn't get. I was watching just like mm -hmm. people like just read um some of the celebs to filth on TikTok, and I was yeah. like I was on the floor. Yeah. Oh, I won't um, say any names because too early in my career to get canceled, but no, we'll no, get no. that. We'll no, get no, for sure. the tea, like, next episode when I come back, ooh, we spill yeah. the tea. No, for real. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah. So on yeah. Other be bit, on other people. Oh my God, I almost said the B word. On other people. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you yeah. can, I you can cuss up. No, 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 no. B-I-T-C-H. Oh yeah, you can say whatever uh, um, you want on here, but yeah. Um, <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> um yeah, so um speaking of the album, yeah, and everything, um yeah, Bella, do you wanna go? Oh yeah, because you kind of mentioned it, but mm, like what yeah. do you want people to take away from like your music and your artistry? I think it's really important for people to really just interpret all the songs the way they want to interpret it. I have like a certain interpretation on the songs because obviously I wrote it, but what I really want them to take away with the album is maybe just like sit down and like think how you felt, like what did each song bring to your state of mind and to your soul, I guess. And like, I just, I want, I want them to be like a roller coaster. I want, I want, so I want it to feel happy and then like, sad and then ecstatic and then like I just I just want people to feel something because like I don't know like coming from like my past and everything I think I have this whole whole idea where like I just want to feel something and stuff and like I think that's also an idea that I also really added into Aurora and like the songs itself as well and like even like Aurora itself as the name like I it's it's like the northern lights right and they dance in the sky and it's just like a roller coaster it's just like movement and like that's what I wanted like the album to really embody just like movement feelings and like I just want people to walk away with that and like just like feel it <laughs> I love that thank you it's so vivid like the okay. horror borealis like I love mm. that like analogy for that's sure. like yeah I'm not gonna lie like I've been trying to explain that analogy for the last five interviews that I've had and like it's been so hard I'm like, that, it, it, it. and then like no like y'all with y'all like finally thank you like I got to explain it yeah right. finally like thank you like no <sighs> worries um okay oh it's here yeah. <laughs> we got the yeah yeah we um, gotcha <laughs> yeah um so yeah you um you have the album coming out you have the two um shows and then you have the Hold tour up. eventually <gasps> obviously yes we congratulations again on that Thank that's you. like such Thank that's you. like a huge accomplishment to be honest very um, yeah but yeah like in terms of traveling and touring like uh what um 
which Canadian cities or city are you looking most forward to to visiting? Would you say? Um, this is gonna sound really weird, but like <laughs> I've, it's like multiple cities, honestly. Um, okay. I will definitely say Toronto. I'm mm-hmm. very excited to go to Toronto, which I will be doing October 17th. Details coming yes. through. But um, it's just like I've only been to Toronto through the perspective of like family trips and like just trips in general. And like I feel like I'm really going to Toronto as myself, like doing something I love and like presenting myself to that city in mm-hmm. an authentic way that I think I'm more comfortable with. And like that is something I'm very excited to experience especially like meeting new people too because like there's always that part of like doing shows like you meet people you get to like learn different stories and like I think I don't know I think Toronto has some crazy stories like um if you guys want to look up the ice condos on TikTok <laughs> y'all will understand what I mean when Toronto is oh a jungle. my god yes <laughs> have to plug yes. that in there no um, definitely I'm excited for like maybe like a town in Vancouver. Oh no, no, not Vancouver, <laughs> British Columbia. Tur- um, oh, okay. What's that town that I keep talking about, Christina? You know. Which Isn't one? it the Fernie one? Like the town no, that's named after No, 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 no. It's an island. It's an island. It's an island. Oh, okay. Oh, it's an island. I mean, there's um, there's a couple. Princeton? No, no, no. Rob, no. It's oh, I forgot the name, but um. Okay. I was talking about it with you and like it's like it was so beautiful but like I'll figure it out I'll tell you like after this segment maybe <laughs> I'll just like remind you <laughs> I mean BC in general like it's just so mm-hmm, scenic beautiful. the air is just a different level it's of gorgeous like, mm-hmm. fresh like you like I don't know for me like you get on you just get there and you're like holy shit it's like a different mm-hmm. world I don't know but um yeah that's honestly like what you said like traveling as like with your family or like just like vacation versus like going to like do something that you like your passion you like know? yeah exactly it's and just, and like, it's being different vibes different. for sure for sure um but yeah so we wanted to know um just in terms of your taste like we know a bit of it but like what five songs hmm. can't you live without Ooh. Oh, oh my <laughs> lord. Y'all are asking yeah. the real question now. Five yeah. songs I yeah. can't play without. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> okay. First one, definitely R.I.P. Kevin Miller by mm-hmm. Isaiah Rashad. Yeah. It's like climbed its way up to the top. It's like stuck in my brain forever. Mm-hmm. Um, Provider by Frank Ocean. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, we're at two. Uh, three. Uh, now it's getting hard. Um, <laughs> Oh, Don't Let Go by Brian Adams from the oh, okay. Spirit soundtrack. Okay, okay, yeah. That is, oh, gee. Love that. I yeah. was obsessed with that song <laughs> since I was a kid. I'll, like, listen to it today, and I'll, like, literally feel, it's like, a banger, nostalgia. Though. Just, like, it's, yeah, oh, yeah. It's straight up. Um, okay, so we're at three right now. Okay, four. Mm-hmm. Um, what song? Oh, my God. Oh, this is getting so hard. Oh, Westchester. Okay, I know that sounds, like, really, really, No, really, no, really no. Special, like, um, I think that's just that. like one of like the most personal songs I've ever written. One of like the most like real, transparent, very just like raw. Like I like really just like cut my skin, like ripped my heart out and like just like showed it to the world with that song. Um, sorry, that was very graphic, but like- No, no I love okay. that. That's, I that's love the that. Thing. That's the no, thing. No, but that's and, like, <laughs> artistry. Yeah. Um, exactly. So I'll definitely say Westchester is like one of like the best songs I think I've ever written and I will ever hear in like life. <laughs> and like yes. it's just a blessing that like it's from me. <laughs> um, and then five. Um, oh my like, lord. Okay, it'll definitely be. I'm gonna say a her song. Um, okay. It would have. It would have to be wait for it either or facts. I think facts is like by far my favorite because I think it takes me back to great times for sure you know, I love that you yeah, know yeah, yeah. like anthem and like you showed I me that it's song like, it's like amazing like a while back and yeah, like I think yeah. every time I listen to it it like takes me back to like the times where like we first met and like you really just like you were just like we were just like on such a different level when it came to like who we were we had like such a different understanding like towards who we were in terms of like 
how comfortable we were with each other and like I think that's like an amazing thing to have and like even you Bella like we just have like this really insane connection like it's just like beyond like oh, our that. human bodies it's yeah, just like, sure. it's, like our souls collide and it just makes sense oh my god oh my god I'm like becoming like super like mystical no no <laughs> um but like yeah that's how I feel honestly <laughs> what a what a like wide variety of like honestly songs. Yeah. it's like super awesome um but just getting a bit more like taste of like you mm. know what kind of I mean I know like I already knew like you love like from you know classic rock to mm-hmm you know pop so it's it's kind of just a little bit more in depth of like what music you love but on that note of like loving stuff what was the Mm -hmm. first like album that you ever got that you like just couldn't put it down do you know what it's either gonna be the spirit soundtrack or the shrek soundtrack sorry not sorry yeah like that shrek soundtrack was <laughs> it's killer. honestly fire it's so good that yes, was it a is. great great soundtrack and it, it was useful for dances alone in my room to singing alone in my room to mm-hmm. simple birthday parties to actual parties and like it's just like it's such a universal album <laughs> Honest. That's like the best Shrek. answer I think we've gotten. To be yeah. honest, like, but yeah, Shrek is just like very universal. Yeah, honestly, we love Shrek. You got to love Shrek. Yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> um, it's that's like the funniest answer, but also like one of the best. Um, is I the think lighting we've okay? I'm just letting you know. Sorry, is the lighting okay? It's getting a bit dark. I just realized. Did you want me to move? Oh, it's all good. You it's all good. I feel like all our yeah. lightings are just like all different. So very. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I have this like big light like, here. But I love. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but I love okay, how we cool. can still sit outside. You know, like. Yeah, because like I'm sitting outside vibe. and like really enjoying this conversation. Yeah. And just like. Real. Looking um, out having it city. out. <laughs> yeah, just having a night in the city. <laughs> yeah. So in terms of, um, like, so you you're just openly yourself as an artist like a queer canadian Mm -hmm. artist um how do you think like you found your uh footing and how like what like i it's it's difficult like i would say in general being an artist but then like Mm -hmm. to be an lgbtqa2 plus artist like how do you think that like came to be like do you know what i think this whole like lgbtq like side of me has been a very silent war for like a long time and Mm -hmm. coming from the west island um it's just super different because people it's not like i don't know i i I don't want to make like i don't want to make a comparison to like america but like it's not like where like people are like in your face like rude it's like more like it's a very very like quiet very subtle and like a reputation is a huge thing and like I think with that it really really helped me break out of the box even more and um it did take so long for me to like really accept myself but like I'm at the point where it's just like yo like I am who I am it doesn't define who I am at all either and yes I love giving my side of that to my art because I think it really has a home there and it really has a purpose there but like I also at the same time it's just like I'm so much more than that you understand it's just like I'm a friend I'm an artist and like I just think that like with accepting my queerness I was able to accept the fact that I am so much more too I validate my queerness but I also validate every other side of me that I hadn't validated before because I didn't think I deserved it, nor did I think I really thought I should pursue it because when you're in a dark place, it's just really hard to like find that footing. But I think now that I have that stable footing, I'm really able to express myself to the full extent that I want to. And um, it's not just and it's not, I'm, it's not, I'm not saying that I'm like at hundred percent either. It's just like, I have like years and years to like keep going. And like, I think the different, the only difference now is that I'm like super open and super ready to really dive into those sides of myself. 
and yeah and that i think that's what i think that's what it means to be queer to me i think to be queer is to be liberated to be loved and to be accepted for who you are and to love yourself with no boundaries yeah definitely wow so elegantly <laughs> crazy. Okay, sorry. no no it's beautifully said okay, no okay. It de- no but it's oh my like, god definitely um, like it totally like, made sense don't worry what mm. you said about like coming from like the west island and montreal and mm. everything it's like a don't ask don't tell you know exactly. what i mean like even now it's... like if i meet someone i'm not gonna be like oh i'm like you know in general like i feel like like you said it's it's like one part of you you know you like you're a person who happens to yeah. be queer you know what i exactly. mean exactly like, like it doesn't define you number one it's not like the number it doesn't one define me you. but it strengthened me it gave me strength mm. it gave me power honestly that's like really to like own yeah. well said. my body to own my soul to own my sexuality to own everything because i am me and i think when you have that you're a powerful period the moment Very. you acknowledge all those sides of yourself and it's a it's a battle it's a fight because like this is not some overnight stuff like but when you find that footing oh girl it's gonna feel good <laughs> it's gonna feel hell good i think like oh, yeah. once you open your you when you open your you know like sexuality up when you open your mm-hmm. gender fluidity up like i feel like just opening yourself up and then making like it reflects in your art you know what I mean? It reflects in all aspects. So it's of life, it, yeah. Yeah. It's great to see. Um definitely kind of goes into what Fernie said about like being free. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, I feel free, but like I know that like i I could be freer. I could be freer. Yeah. The work's there. never yeah. done. The work's never yeah. done. And like I think that's like the beauty of it too. It's just like there's always work to be done. Yeah. Never settle. Oh yeah, going. no, definitely like just um, keep self growth, self love, and like just working. Like we see you hustling, obviously. Every you know, day. you have your album coming out, your two sold out shows, um, and your tour and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, is there that any- surprised me? No, it surprised you. Yeah, yeah that shocks me that you the say sold that. Out, the so- the two, yeah. yeah, the two sold. I don't know. It's like we haven't done any shows like since the pandemic right and yeah that's true that's, that's true early 2020 like february and then like yeah. now we're back and like and this is the response with a it's bang like, yeah very, it's like very it's overwhelming awesome. it's just like whoa but like it's just like yeah i'm like oh my god i'm gonna cry <laughs> oh my yes, god yes i love I've that been, though like, i still i've still been trying to process it honestly like it's been like really intense and like I'm like I'm super nervous but like I'm super excited because like thank you it's just like it it, it be, it's because of all of you guys honestly that like I'm able to do this because like it's not it's not even about validation it's just about the love it's just about love yeah and like it's just about like we're all like we all connect through music that I make and like that's cool that's what we have in common that's a good Very. start and like now let me like explore other like aspects of your beautiful human soul kind of shit you know like Mm. yeah (laughs) Yeah. but like just I think it's you know you're saying it's because of people that love your music it's Mm -hmm. like so many things like you worked like you've been doing shows you know what I mean from like um I want to say the first like I guess downtown show that I went to was like Mecca D live, you know, from that you know, January a, a small, 2019. Yeah, so like a yes. small stage where like you could barely fit like where we could barely people. move. Yeah, and then oh like to to like playing, you know, um mm-hmm. Raw Montreal at the Rialto mm-hmm. and then to having your show sell out there. At the Rialto I mean? too. Yeah, like, it's full just like circle a circle moment. Yeah. You know, I love to okay. see that. That like it's- really creeped me. Like that, that was like wild. And like, mm-hmm. there's been many full circle moments happening too. And it's just like, wow, it's just like insane. Like I'm super happy. Mm-hmm. And like, um, it's just getting better and better. Like, it's only the beginning. <laughs> oh, it's literally for sure. only the beginning. We just, I feel like there's so much like, in terms of your like music, like so like, you know, multi 
genre and like your like just like your actual like themes as an artist and your hmm. like looks as an artist like we we all it's like expect the unexpected you know what I mean because like yeah. we were like oh well what can we expect like we don't know you know Fernie is right. like, such a multidisciplinary like artist so it's great yeah. Oh, um, yes. Thank you. I also feel like with every song and album that's mm-hmm. come out, like you've always like elevated yourself just like a bit, like in your artistry. Conceptually, yeah. 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 So yeah. true. It's honestly like yeah, but like at the same time, it's just like I feel that's where I feel the pressure the most because like I'm always trying to like grow and expand, obviously mm-hmm. as a singer and stuff. But like you just like I don't know. It's just like what direction do we really want to go, right? Because like as you said, like I'm a multi-genre artist, like right, like what's my yeah. Name? what do I like like what concept do I make next that like can yeah. really like be like something that like can catch people's attention you know and like I think that's yeah. really myself a lot a lot of the times but um I think getting lost in that also helps me like learn and grow too so it's just like it's just like eh, balance like eh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um Definitely. And I think that in general, like in Montreal, mm. like, yeah, there's like, you know, um, queer music scene, but I don't mm. like, I feel like I would love, maybe it's just cause like, I'm unfamiliar with like all mm. of the artists cause it's very underground, but I feel like the yeah. actual like um, queer music scene is just like not as appreciated as it should be. Um, and that comes with time maybe. Um, it does come with time, yeah. But like, it's just so lovely to see you kind of like help pave the paving the way. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So it's awesome, and like, I also like. I think um, there's this other amazing, like, uh, emerging black artist named Matai Merlin, and she also has this yeah. like, very queer aesthetic to her, and like, I'm very close to her, and like, I think like having her as an artist outside of like KFDU has also been like super amazing because like it just like aside from K Trinata like do you really know any like queer artists that are like huge or like okay not huge I don't want to say huge as in like oh famous but like as in like that are like known like that are like known to like and it's like just like yeah known to like a certain degree like internationally let's say yeah and like the only queer artist from Montreal that I like I know is Kay Trinata. I could be wrong but yeah I don't think I know yeah, another, yeah there's not many like, black it's... queer artists that are like killing it yeah or like um, they, there are obviously but like they're not being represented right right, right for sure yeah. um but even like it's 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 difficult too because um even in mainstream like you know pop like top 40 radio like it's still like there was just I don't know I didn't watch the full MTV like VMAs but like there's a lot of like um there's a lot of like beef because it's like you know it's an award show and like Justin Bieber's album like won for best album they're like how did it beat like you know Doja Cat and like all these other great albums how did it for real right right and like personally it was not my favorite album of his like at all and that's yeah. like my opinion and um it was good but like not that great i didn't think I it just, was that great but that's, again sorry. it's like a love you shows. justin but like right like exactly but like it's it's just like it's political it's also like he's just like i don't know mm-hmm. every it's one of those it's just one of those things it's like i wish you know maybe someone else could have had an opportunity like you know artists exactly, of color yeah. or like lgbt artists and there's like, like chloe and holly bailey like why haven't they yeah. like yeah yeah like, um y'all have them like come to these events and for what like yo like although like accolades don't mean anything obviously but like right, right. at the same time like the recognition like, should still be there especially if like you're having like justin bieber like win an award when like factually like there are like other artists who like have done better that year and maybe he agrees and maybe he doesn't, but like, it doesn't matter. It's just like, yeah, for, you. for sure. No, definitely. I find it very, mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean no, to go ahead. About, no, 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 go ahead. I just find it very interesting that you brought it up because I literally had this mm-hmm. conversation a couple of days ago at work mm-hmm. because okay. like, even like for top 40, like the stuff yeah. you hear on like the top radios, I find yeah. it's very like, 
Justin Bieber, you know, like those kind of mm-hmm. people. Like it's not very versatile. Yeah. And I find that so like dated. Like we're in the 21st century. Like I don't know. I don't know. You can, like things. you can listen to like I mm-hmm. think like you can like appreciate you know it's it's like there's room for everyone you know what I mean like yeah. giving yeah. like giving like seven Grammys you know and one show to one artist it's like it's crazy to me you know what I mean yeah like, you do clean yeah. up and that's everything. too much and then you have the performers on stage like oh I don't deserve this like mm-hmm. they should be going to like it's like a mean girls moment when she like rips off the tiara and she's yeah like, honestly it like but it's like okay. again like you said accolades it's like not about that you know yeah but um yeah but I don't there know. are like moments where you just wish that like why couldn't you just recognize this artist for like being for what they- yeah and i just yeah. rem- i remember like this is a couple years ago like kanye west got some sort of like achievement award mm-hmm. and he was saying like he just got it and he was talking about how award shows don't mean anything and how like ludicrous they are yeah and it's just people were like, but you're true. accepting this. No, it's very true. Like people were like, but right. you're accepting this like huge like award. Like, how can you say that? But I mean it's Kanye West, he's obviously mm-hmm. very outspoken. Um, but it's it's I agree with that like wholeheartedly. You know what I mean? Like just it's it is what it is. Like even is with it um yeah. it's an award show, you know. I, I yeah, think, it exactly. Make, it doesn't make any other albums or artists like less than but it can Mm -hmm. seem that way but um but yeah just um we got a little bit more time um we got uh another question or two for you yes yeah Uh, so in like general because i remember i the first time i ever saw you perform it was Mm -hmm. at i think it was john abbott talent show uh, oh lord yeah <laughs> and yeah, a long and, time ago yeah, <laughs> yeah. and, and uh, even so <laughs> yeah even so it's just like i think it was like mm-hmm. um what year 2017 2017 yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, which song was it the one that the daniel caesar one that i did or was it the one that i did with dawson I see five. No, it was the first oh. one. The first one. Okay. Uh, was it a Daniel Caesar? Oh my God, I thought you did your own song. song I, I thought I thought you did your song <gasps> after EP, your first EP. Oh, oh my God. I did. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Oh my God. I didn't know that. You I did. I did. Four? Yeah, yeah. Let me go. Yeah. Let it go. No, let it go. Okay, let yeah, it go. Yeah, I yeah. Have a it's on That's... SoundCloud. Yeah. SoundCloud exclusive. <laughs> the you know the OG Fernie yeah you know? yeah the acoustic um, EP the acoustic yes. EP I remember yeah and I remember seeing that and then to see you now and it's like I don't know it's it's like the like fully fledged mm-hmm. like I don't know it's just it's wonderful and um I guess to to go back to like your younger self like. Mm-hmm you have like would you if you could meet your younger self what would what would you say to them uh, um what I advice say, would you give them i tell them like yo yo stupid stop <laughs> thinking yeah that nothing is like st- first of all stop thinking that you're gonna be homeless it's like you actually thing, thought like, that? Grew- yeah, for the, like yeah. I feel like up, it's I like an. I thought I was gonna end up homeless. I think it's an um, artist's like you know fear, like the yeah, starving artist mentality. Like, like I'm gonna sleep on a bench, uh, which is funny to me because I was hmm. look. I was reading this article, um, about Ed Sheeran, and like I knew he was homeless, but like it wasn't because he was poor. Like it was almost, mm-hmm. like his family is like they're not well off but they're not like poor or anything like he was just mm-hmm. he kind of just decided that it was like like he moved to London and he was just like yeah I'm just gonna like you couch know. surf right yeah mm-hmm. yeah and he was couch surfing and he was doing that whole like starving artist like vibe and it's 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 not I mean it's not the funnest most pleasant obviously like thing but it's like mm-hmm. I feel like every artist is just like yeah that's I don't want to have that happen to me yeah so very yeah um i would tell them also the literally like 
just say like, be patient like stop trying to rush everything like live your life like in the now yeah yeah because like yeah like live in the now because like one day like you're just gonna like it's all other wishes are gonna come true and like they will but plug all my wishes um everything everything <laughs> everything yes. will change everything will change yeah yeah and you're gonna cherish all the moments you told yourself to go for a walk you're gonna cherish all the moments you told yourself to literally just like sit down and relax like just take it easy like all those every moment like leads up to something and like it's leading up to something great so just like keep being you you know and, like, right. you make mistakes stop being hard on yourself you're always too hard on yourself like that. Mm-hmm. There, you are too hard yeah. on yourself. <laughs> way too hard on myself. Way too hard. I think um it's just just as a as a it's obviously a different experience for someone who mm-hmm. just like listens to your music and just like knows you as an artist and also mm-hmm. but like to also have the privilege to know you as a person like you know we've <sighs> seen you like grow so much and we're just yeah. so proud of you They're and bad uh, and ugly yeah exactly um and thank you so much for um taking the time to yeah. come on here and finally be on the show I yeah, feel like yeah. yeah. Oh, i like, wanted this yeah. yes i yeah. wanted this so badly and oh just kick off the new so season thank you and um well, thank you i'll be listening to this playing video games probably because that was like that's my ritual i'll like play video games on mute and then like just <laughs> listen to the podcast in its entirety yeah so Oh, we love that. But playing yeah. video games right now but yeah <laughs> i hope <so>. you're winning <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh for those like for everyone who hasn't listened to you yet uh where can they find you on social yes. media um you can find me on instagram at fernie official i'm fernie on spotify apple music amazon music and i think i'm on title yeah and title and youtube right. too fernie on youtube if you guys want to see my visuals to all my wishes and new beginnings and yeah that's it yeah yeah oh and on snapchat like fernie <laughs> f3 rn13 it's public like you can subscribe to my snapchat i don't use it often but like yeah great great awesome a well, little extra <laughs> yeah a little, yeah, a little extra content yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> um but yeah we also love you're this. on tiktok oh, oh yeah TikTok, that's but i don't use tiktok often so you can like no, you don't me. but like yeah you sometimes share music there too, i'll like yeah, yeah i'll post like, my music stuff but like yeah. yeah no my manager's trying to tell me to do more tiktoks and i'm like uh i don't know man if I, feel like, uh, I feel like it's it's fun but it's like is it mm-hmm. sustainable you know what i mean no! like, uh, <laughs> i don't know it's just it's crazy because you see like people on tiktok and then it's like the 10th of the presence um on like mm-hmm. instagram so it's like i don't know um yeah. it's fun i'll say it's oh. funny though it's a good time but um that is all. but it's also addicting For yeah sure. it, is. it oh, can God. be so addicting uh, it can yeah. be yeah, but uh, we want to say thank you once again. We love you. We can't wait to share this with everyone. Thank you. And um, have a great oh. rest of your night. Thank you. Very. I love you yeah. both. And thank you again for finally being on the show. Yeah. yeah thank honestly, you. The yeah. honor is like, oh my God, I'm so honored, honestly. Like, <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. The feeling is mutual. Have a great evening, and we will you definitely too. see you soon.